Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So if you bought a brand new Samsung flagship device, <clears throat> Note 10, and it does not have a headphone jack, or if you have an existing Samsung device and you want to get onto this whole Bluetooth audio thing because it's the future, or if you want to find out the ridiculous things that Samsung makes its users do in order to fix something as basic as Bluetooth audio volume, watch this video. Let's get started. So I want to start off by talking about this MKBHD video that he did a while back about Bluetooth 5.0 and it was so fancy. Bluetooth 5.0 basically allows you to get better battery life on your devices, to get better range and most importantly according to the video, allows you to stream to two separate devices at the same time. So you could have one phone and stream to two separate Bluetooth speakers and control the volume independently. Let's pause on this for a second and then move on to the second thing, which is that I have bought myself a pair of true wireless earphones. So I've had a Note 9 as my daily driver for the last one year and I've been incredibly happy with the phone. It has a headphone jack. However, I thought I need to be forward thinking and buy myself a good pair of true wireless earphones. I thought about the Galaxy Buds but rejected them because they have bad audio quality when it comes to calls. Also, the battery life is rubbish. So I picked up the Creative Outlier Air. I got these in from Singapore where they cost me about 9,000 Indian rupees. If you want to buy them, I'll throw the link up in the description there on Amazon for about 14,000 Indian rupees. I'd suggest you get Pali with your friends in Singapore. Anyway, there are three reasons why I bought these earphones. First is because of their good audio quality. They support APTX and I've told you guys there is a massive difference between APTX and Bluetooth SBC. Second, it's because they have good battery life, both on the buds themselves as well as in the case. The buds give me about seven hours, the case gives me about 20 additional hours on a charge. And third, they charge via USB-C. I will not talk to you if you have a device that charges via micro USB. It's just that bad. Anyway, so I picked up these true wireless earphones, the Creative Outlier Air, connected them over to my Samsung Galaxy Note 9, and I became aware of a very big problem. The audio volume levels were really, really bad. I did some digging on the internet and found out that this is what you need to do in order to fix the volume levels on your Bluetooth device when you're streaming from your brand new Samsung phone. First of all, you need to pull down your notification shade, go to the Bluetooth settings by long pressing on the Bluetooth icon, then tap on more and then go to advanced. Here you'll see some confusing options. The first option is the one I just spoke about, dual audio. Please turn that off. The second option is the hallelujah option. It is media volume sync. You have to turn this one on. Essentially, I think what Samsung meant to say was that this will allow you to synchronize the volume between your phone and your audio device. But anyway, turn it on and you'll see that your volume on your Bluetooth device goes significantly up when you turn up the volume on your phone. I really hope someone somewhere out there at Samsung takes a look at this and takes heed, but I wouldn't hold your breath. They're really good when it comes to listening to their customers about hardware, but when it comes to software, remember TouchWiz. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, drop your comments with any questions on your Samsung device in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel on YouTube, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next one.